It's not your average basement setup for a 15-year-old. 3D printers working day and night as Arjun Oberoi makes hundreds of face shields for our first responders. The first thing I want to ask you is just take me through the moment when you realized, okay, I have 3D printers, this is how I can step in to help. I do high school robotics, therefore I have all the 3D printers and all the equipment needed to make stuff at my house. He's printed parts for DC fire and EMS breathing machines and is closing in on 300 face shields like these donated in Rockville. It's just a transparency and a 3D printed frame. Snap together in seconds and voila. It's really simple to assemble and disassemble. So you're making these materials to help out our first responders in a huge way. Did you ever feel intimidated to take on this task when you're helping out people from Rockville and the nation's capital? Yeah, this was a really big task because there's such a large need. There's still a shortage even today of PPE. The goal is to produce parts for more than a thousand shields, armor for those on the front lines whose gratitude, Oberoi says, makes it all worthwhile. It's just so thankful. It's a great feeling to have when you know that you're helping the people who are actually fighting the pandemic. In Northwest, Mike Valerio, WUSA 9.